Uh, it's February 2014. Here's my two cents review on Monuments Men. Uh, as I'm doing this review this weekend, the Lego movie has done 60, over $60 million in business in the Monuments Men starring uh, George Clooney, Bill Murray, Matt Damon, Kate Blanchett, uh, and a list of long list of Hollywood celebrities has made $20 million. So basically, Lego beats looks. Lego beats Clooney, and uh, but there's more to it than this. This is a very interesting movie to watch because I don't think it's a very good movie. I think it could have been a great movie, but it's about tone. And if you're a film fan or if you're studying film or whatever, it's like this is an, this is an interesting film to, to take a look at because Clooney has been trying to figure out tone as a director for for a long time. Like he he's had some successful films and he's had some bombs, and this could be a bomb, but his name alone is going to make going to make, make the money back on this film. But this is a film that was pushed out of the November uh, uh, Oscar sweepstakes in 2013 because they knew this wasn't an Oscar worthy film, despite all the names and what the subject matter is. And they just pushed it to in the middle of nowhere in February before Valentine's Day because they knew that this film is not that great because. Clooney is trying to make a 1950s film, but I think he's trying to do even be deeper than that, where he's trying to give uh, audiences a different, a different kind of voice, where he's trying to give us a different, a serious subject matter, but he's trying to give give us comedic elements within the serious subject matter. And the reason why I'm calling it 1950s style is because in 1950s, if you watch, go back and study history and you watch those films, there's a lot of those type of tones in that era, especially when they're talking about war, because as I pointed out in my written review, here's an era that basically wants to wants to make movies, movies want to be made about their recent past because World War II was such an interesting time in their past, but it was so close to their past, they didn't want it to be too serious, like too, um, like Save a Private Ryan or Schindler's List. You couldn't make Schindler's List in 1950s. It was way too intense for everybody. It was like there needed to be time to basically make that movie uh, in between the the, the, war, the beginning of World War One, But basically that's what uh, Clooney is trying to do. But here's the problem. We don't want those movies anymore. And we also don't understand what kind of tone he's trying to give us. We want a movie that tells us a journey. And there's so many missed opportunities in this film because there's a dynamic theme occurring in uh, The Monuments Men. Is art more valuable than a man's life? That's the main subject uh, theme in this of this film. Uh, great art can and will stand the test of time forever, perhaps. But, you know, the average person, us included, is maybe 70, 75 years, maybe for lucky 90 years, and then we're done. But if you make great art, if you have a legacy, it can stand forever. And why was Hitler so obsessed with obtaining this much artwork this is a double-edged sword and they kind of joke at it in the movie because Hitler could have destroyed all this art while he was destroying Europe he could have gone to Paris and could have gone to like after the uh, the whole Italy roundup he could have gone to Italy and they could have destroyed all this art but he didn't he kept it so in a way we're, we're happy that Hitler had this screwed up mentality with uh, with art and his whole own um, his own obsession, his own failure as a painter himself, because if it wasn't for his craziness, we wouldn't have this art that we have today. He would have he would have destroyed it all. So that's what the interesting dynamic in this in this film is. And but the question is, why was he so obsessed? Uh, he's he, I know what Clooney's trying to do. He's trying to give us the audience a different voice. He likes to work with the Coen Brothers. The Coen Brothers gave the audience a different voice. They sub they they talk about Middle America with serious tones, but there's that comedic joking element. Watch Fargo. It's funny, but it's very serious. He's trying to make that movie, but either he's not the Fargo brothers or he's, he's picking the wrong subjects. That's my two cents.